Hello there, I'm Shane Young, and I get the privilege of helping you learn Copilot Studio. But before we start, I did want to let you know that I worked with the Microsoft product team to create this awesome training for all of you Power Platform rock stars. Cool? Cool. Okay, let's get to it. We've built a really cool agent. Now it's time to share it with people. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to the top. We're going to click on channels. Now the good news is because we want to publish this to Teams and Microsoft 365, basically all the default settings align us for that. So what we're going to do is just click on Teams and Microsoft 365. But before we do that, like just take a second to like look it over and see all the different places that you could potentially pu publish an agent. Keeping in mind that you'd have to use some different authentication methods, different actions and stuff. You'd build your agent differently if you're going to go with one of these other channels. But just keep in mind that it doesn't have to just be about Teams and Microsoft 365. There is a full ecosystem out there. But either way, today we're going to stick with Teams and Microsoft 365. So we're going to click the button. The first thing we want to do is we want to go over here and we're going to check Make Agent Available in Microsoft 365 Copilot. This is up to you. But if you want it to be available in the 365 Copilot where you can add as an agent, you're going to want to check this. So we, we do. So we're going to click the box and then it's reminding you, you'll need to republish your agent after you change this setting, which is important because we actually didn't publish our agent yet. So let's go ahead and hit the X here. And then we're going to go up here to the top right and we're going to click on publish. So when you publish, this is what's going to make the agent available throughout the channels that it has been published to. So this is important. We're going to hit publish here. And so this is important to keep in mind because as we make changes, right, this is that point in time that the agent has been published. So if we make a bunch of changes after we do this, people that are using it in Teams or in Microsoft 365, they won't see those changes until we publish again. Whereas our testing, our testing interface over there on the right, it's seeing the changes in real time. So keep that in mind that, you know, we have this whole model that, Yes, we've published it. So now we're saying this is the gold with what everyone using. Then we're going to continue to make changes and modifications. And when we feel good about those, and we're ready to roll those out. We will need to publish again. So now that it has been published, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to click our button again. Notice that everything is ready to go over here. So we'll go down to the bottom and we'll say add channel, All right? So now the channel has been added. And so everything is ready to go. What you want to do at this point, is you have this C agent in Teams. So if we click on this, this is going to give us a URL that's going to launch this in Teams for us. So we'll go ahead and say open, and now it's ready to go. So what we'll need to do here is say add, and we'll go ahead and click open in Copilot. And there you go, we're in the Copilot inside of Teams. And so our demo IT support assistant is there. And if we paste in our good old, I wanna start working from home, what should I know? We're going to make sure that it's all working. So we should get back answers from our document. And there they are. So we feel good that it is working here. And now if we click the ellipses over here, we're going to see our demo IT support assistant. So we'll go ahead and click on there and boom, it shows up over here on the bar as its own app. And then as you start to have conversations with it, it'll appear in your chat history. Now let's switch back over to Copilot Studio again for a second. So we'll go back to Copilot Studio. Now when you're on this screen, Keep in mind that you can go here and also edit details. And so for example, if you're not happy with the short description, the long description, you want to change any of this color or icon, uh, you also have some different options like the way it can be used inside of Teams. And then more down here, this is the things like setting your developer name, your partner ID, so a bunch of additional stuff. So not stuff we're going to mess with today, but I wanted you to see there was a lot more. If you were seeing things like developer name, you're like, wait, why does it just say developer name? we didn't fill any of that out. Let's cancel all that. And I think that is enough for us to say, hey, we've built a really awesome IT support assistant agent. 